Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. And now we return to this. Vox Machina. We are now entering the halfway point. At the end of this will be the exact halfway point of the season. And that's basically... Oh no, it's 12! 12. 12 this season. Oh. Was it 12 last season? Not at the halfway point, then. I was going to say, it was season one? Yeah, it was. So it's 12 episodes apiece. Sorry. My mistake, everybody. So, we are not going to be at the halfway point. That will be next episode. I think 12 is a decent spot for a season. Yes, I think so, too. And so like, uh, if it's less than 12, I'm usually like, damn. Like, Sony, for some reason, has started doing eight-episode seasons, and I'm like, Why? Make us wait forever for them, and then we only get eight episodes. I think maybe it's because of Glenn, or not Glenn, uh, well, just everyone's wanting to do something else. But I am uh, interested to see how this uh, season, uh, seriously, there we go. I'm interested to see how this season ends, because I don't know if they're going to finish off the uh, the Chroma Conclave main story, or if they're going to uh, split it up. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot to go over. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. Ah. Uh, no, don't go! Do you hear it? The wind? Your power. Now, listen to that. The Avatar. Fire. And the earth and water. Ow! Uh, never pull back. Flame cannot live without air, and we are air Ashari, are we not? We were made to pass through fire. It doesn't hurt you? Only if you let it. And she was never seen again. Yeah, that seriously could have been a scene from Avatar, though. <laughs> could have. I feel more grown, more mature. <sighs> you look more mature. I'm going to take that as a compliment, because of how mature I am. If we're close to Pyra, maybe we should go. I'd like to, but the people of Taldori are depending on us. I I'm gonna go get more wood. Vax. Uh, how long has Grog been gone? This is Grog we're talking about. I'll go there. check on him. Here, for the fire. So I love opening people up to feed you, right? I mean, they're flying apart. It's like a dream. Could you ever be... full? Are you talking to your dookie? Oh, uh, yep, yeah, just asserting my dominance. Uh, could you play me a tune? <laughs> sure, yeah. Poop accompaniment. I've been training for my whole life. What's in this for you? The blood of your enemies feeds me. My hunger always. I sympathize with that. <laughs> uh, no! Leave me that's alone! That's the... Okay. That's door. That'll make taking a bath difficult. <laughs> yeah. I would say when they find the Sphinx's mate, like he'll probably be able to give some more answers about what exactly is going on with that too. Mind taking a peek at this? You kept that thing? Huh. Oh, land here. Nice. Hey. How did you do that? Leave it up to us? Stop it. Venereal. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. How about this? I'll tell you the magic word for a favor. You just gotta trust me. <laughs> I've met cockroaches more trustworthy than you. <laughs> not to mention the kind of favors he's likely to ask for are probably not things that any woman with modesty would want to agree to. This is true. Valancia. Valancia. Oh. 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 String your loot with your own pubic hairs. <laughs> oh, he'd probably this. appreciate that. The volcano is supposed to be dormant. Fire Shari could be in trouble. Then they'll have to deal with it themselves. I'm sorry, Keyleth, but Osisa's instructions were very clear. Damn it. Well, Keyleth would drop everything to help us, especially you. This is true. Oh, damn. Are you okay? More are coming through. Oh, her father. Dad? 
The rift to the fire plane was torn open. It was a dragon. Okay. Keith, I need you to come with me. Beasts have been coming through in waves while our fire tamers hold them back. Oh, crap. The fire tamers need our magic to seal it. All right. Hima? Alura? But you guys are dead. We're very much alive. Where's the rest of your team? Oh. Oh, bye. You know what you fight fire with? Fire me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Scan then. Word, please. Just say yes to that favor and it's all yours. I hope you fall into lava, asshat. Well, there wasn't a name. Yeah, asshat. There they go. Feed me. Oh, I'm trying, but none of these guys got bloody insides. Shit, shit, I am very flammable. <laughs> <laughs> Good looking out. Palora fucking by Soren. Not my middle name, but I'm pleased to see you as well. Quit you whisk us away at the last second. You shut my armor. We knew if Thordak was free, it meant the rift was open. We are the reason he escaped. What? Years ago, Kima and I battled Thordak with a group not unlike yours, the Soul Anchor. Yeah. Decided to bind him to it. Like an arcane tether, it pulled Thordak into the fire plane, prisoning him there forever. Or so, or you so thought. we thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have faith, Kima. Not in others, but in yourself. Got this. Yes. Good work, Not enough. Crap. I essentially just made a rock bomb with it. No. Oh, crap. And. No. No. Throw it away. Throw it into the fire. Okay, fine. It's Volantir. Volantir? Well, I was gonna say, an archer on high on a fucking broom. Yeah. That'd be pretty amazing. Together. There you go. My trials. I'm. I'm too scared. I'm not ready. Listen. Listen. Her mother. Listen to your power. Whoa. Do not pull back. I was made to pass through fire. What good does being inside of it do, though? Fire <clears throat> huh? So what good does being inside of it do, though? Only if I let it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that's pretty badass. Whoa, did she have to close it and stay inside of it, though? Yep.
Keyleth of the Air Ashari. From this day forward, you have the blessing of Pyra. But go forth, knowing you have mastered fire. Thank you, Flame Speaker. Nice. Thordak escaped with aid from someone posing as one of our own. Be sure you trust those around you. I trust them with my life. Also, her outfits changed. Please take care of each other. <laughs> Especially that one. <laughs> hey! That was actually kind of you. I mean, what was I gonna do? Let you die? Again? And because I'm so mature now, I hereby owe you one favor. This is gonna be fun. Drink oh, it? No. Hmm? <laughs> oh, come on! Oh. <sighs> <coughs> <laughs> hey, don't you talk shit about Trinket. Oh. A warring plan? Yes. His gold pleases us under the reign of the Chroma Conclave. A reign that will sadly be short lived. Unless that is. Uh oh. You care to hear what I have to say? The people who are raiding this village and giving the gold to the uh, dragon, they look very familiar. Like Grog, kind of? They look a lot like Grog. Yeah. In terms of their war paint. Markings, yeah. In terms of everything they have on, yeah, in terms of their telling features, yeah. I wonder what their, if they have a connection to Grog. <clears throat> Possibly. <sighs> Dear God, this was, this was a good episode. I mean... I was worried that Keyleth was gonna be stuck on the other side of the of the fire uh, of the fire path, but no. Turns out she was able to get back, and now she's got a pretty badass uh, change in outfits. She, I mean, she went from green to orange. It's a good look. Also, uh, her dad's kind of got the kind of got the eye for for Vax. It's just like I'm not saying he's got the hots for him. But he's just like it's just like. Oh, by the way. He'd make you a lovely husband. Yeah, okay. he, I guess he just didn't want to come out and say that. Instead, he was just like, take care of that woman. But also, Grog... He was like, oh, what a nice hug, man. <laughs> yes. Kind of thing. But also, Grog, uh, with the uh, with the sword, he's going to have to toss that bitch eventually. I, I mean, if not sell it for a better weapon, then chuck that fucker into the lava, dude. Because it... it will bring no joy to anybody who uses it. Unless they're a malevolent piece of shit. It's either that or his willpower will become so strong resisting it that it'll eventually uh, end up making the sword his bitch instead of vice versa. I guess. That might be the case. We'll see. <sighs> so that is a kind of thing that can happen in D&D &D sometimes. It's like some yeah. players are stubborn and refuse to give up cursed items, so eventually you just the have cursed to, item works for them. You just have to yeah. relent as the uh, dungeon master and let them dominate the cursed item finally, or whatever. Yeah, and I think it. Yeah, it's basically basically just a part a practice in stubbornness. It kind of goes outside of cliches and like you know the norm for fantasy stuff, but like yeah, some Dungeons and Dragons stuff just works out that way. Because you have players who are stubborn and keep <coughs> rolling high numbers. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, everybody, I think that is going to do it. This was uh, Vox Machina, Season 2, Episode 5, Pass Through Fire. Hopefully y'all enjoyed, and until next time, I'm Nate. I am Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care.